Harris here for Easy Access Math. And today, we're going to do what I call super foil. Actually, it's multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. And, uh, but I like calling it super foil because it is a foil-like problem. So let's talk, take a look here at standard basic foil. A very good skill to know for many problems on many uh, algebra exams and could also help you with alternate means of getting the right answer. So by all means, uh, take a good look at FOIL. FOIL stands for first, so I'm going to multiply the first in each set, and that will be 3x times 2x is 6x squared. Then the outer and I have 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x. Notice I'm using a, a different color for each connection. In FOIL, basic FOIL, you have four connections. Then I have next step, inner, the inner two of each uh, parentheses. It's the inner ones when you have the two binomials next to each other in parentheses. And that's 2 times 2 is 4 and I have an x here. And then finally, last, let's do that in blue. I highly recommend those four color pens if you're going to do foil. It can help you see the connections. May need more colors for the super foil, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. Two times negative seven, positive two, negative seven is, unlike signs, have to watch your signs. Please don't forget those, review those if needed. So many mistakes are caused by sign errors. Um, and that's 14, negative 14. Now I combine like terms, the ones that have the same endings, the x's can be combined. Negative 21 and positive 4 gives me a 17, and x, and the sign of the higher is 21. That's the sign that comes down. I have my 6x squared, and I have my negative 14. And there's my basic FOIL answer. My trinomial that I get out of FOIL is 6x squared minus 17x minus 14. And uh, that's basic FOIL. Now, uh, what I call super FOIL, you have more connections. You actually have the amount of connections when you multiply the uh, two polynomials. So I have a binomial with two elements and a trinomial with three. I'm going to have six connections. I don't have six colors here, but that's okay. I'll try, uh, I'll do uh, this number to each of these numbers in blue so you can see it. So that first number here, it's not exactly first, outer, inner, or last, like basic foil, but it is the same concept. And the first number goes to each of the elements in the second part, in that trinomial. So I have 3x times 2x squared, and that gives me 6x. Remember, there's a little 1 there, and I add my exponents. Have to keep in mind not only the signs, but your exponents. When you multiply, you multiply big numbers, but add the exponents, as I'm doing. All these rules, you just have to keep remembering them as you do these problems. And now I'll do my next one, which is 3x times 5x. 3 times 5 is 15. Signs are both positive, so it's 15x, which just comes in from there. And x and x, it's like x1 and x1 is x2. And now 3x times negative 7 is negative 21x. And now I'll uh, do the second member of that first parentheses in green. So we'll make those three connections. You see it's a total of six connections. The first guy here with each of the members of the second group, which were three members there, it's a trinomial. And the second guy in the first set with each of the members of the second group, always multiplying along the way. Remember your rules of multiplying 
your exponents, you add them, but the base numbers you multiply as you always multiply numbers, regular multiplication for the base numbers. So 2 times 2 is 4. I'll try to line it up where I can. I have 4x squared, because it's just a 2 here and a 2x squared. And you know, I'm going to line it up. You don't have to. You could combine the like terms later. You can make them just all in a straight line. Uh, I'm going to line it up now because I see it's 4x squared. I can put that right under my 15x squared. And my sign is positive. I have 2 times 5 is 10x, and it's positive 10, 2 times 5x. And now my number is positive 2, and negative 7 gives me negative 14. And you see what I did? I kind of lined them up to begin with, but even if you didn't, I have my x squared and my x squared. They can be paired. I'll circle those so you can see they're the same. So even if you line them up just in one straight line, you could combine the two that ended the same, the two like terms, x squared and x squared to combine. And also I can combine the regular x over there, the 20, negative 21x and the positive 10x. So the 6x third, that's going to come down as part of my answer. There's nothing to combine that with. This is the addition or combination part of a FOIL. And in this case, it's more in detail than it was in the basic FOIL. I could combine the 15 and the 4. They're both positive. The 4 was positive because I didn't put a sign. It was 2 times 2 is positive 4. And the 15 was positive. 15x squared, 4x squared, gives me positive 19x squared. Remember when you add exponents, the exponent just comes down. You're not adding those exponents. You only add exponents when you multiply. This is the addition phase, so the square just comes down. I have 19x squared. Here I have unlike signs. Unlike signs and sign numbers, I must subtract and uh, give it the sign of the higher. So 10 and 21 subtract to negative 11x because the 21 was higher, so I subtract 10 from 21, but give it the negative sign because that was with the higher number, the 21. So negative 11x. And the negative 14 just comes down. So I have 6x to the third plus 19x squared minus 11x minus 14. And that is how you do the superfoil multiplying a binomial by a trinomial.